Something in my brain causes stress So come and make me feel different You wanna hold, don't hold back No, oh, your little drama's got me mad And I don't need to tell you facts You know I always want you back Hey guys, welcome back. On this day, I decided to clean out this closet and organize it a little bit. And then it turned into rearranging a little bit and then decluttering and painting and organizing and just all of the things. But when we clean a bedroom or this bathroom, a lot of times stuff just ends up in this closet. When we first bought this house, Heather took the master bedroom and I took the spare bedroom and my closet is under the stairs and it is tiny and it's angled and it's just very small and we do have some food storage in there and I know a lot of you guys said I should put that in the garage but the thing with that is that food doesn't need to get really hot or really cold so I want to keep it temperature controlled so we just keep that in the closet. I've got a shelf in my room with food on it and then my closet's got quite a bit of food in it. There is some beans and rice and just an emergency food kit or two in here and we did a lot of this through COVID and then Heather kind of got into doing it. So Alden showed us how to use the Mylar bags and put beans and rice and store it in bags and buckets and all this stuff. So anyway, if things were to get bad at some point and we all kind of know how that went through COVID then we've at least got a little bit of food storage that we can just add water to and survive so anyway that's what that is and we like I said don't want to put that in the garage so it ended up in my closet and some of it in her closet so my closet is really small and this closet's really big so Heather said that I could have the other half of this closet she would take one half I would take the other half like you guys know get ready in here shower bathe a lot in here but we do dry our hair makeup all that in her room so anyway some of my clothes are in my small closet but then a lot of them are in this closet this closet obviously had some kind of organization system on the walls and they had taken that down and there was all kinds of holes in the wall so I wanted to get all that patched up and put a fresh coat of paint on this closet. It just needed to be painted. It was just begging me. And this is one space that desperately needed it. It wasn't that I was just doing this for YouTube or you know, just doing it to have a project. It just needed to be cleaned out. You couldn't even walk in. So going through Heather's side, all those clothes on that shelf, I asked her if she wanted me to put them in drawers, if she wanted to hang them up, you know, wh why were they there? And she said a lot of it was thermal things like to wear under your clothes from where she coached softball and it was cold. But a lot of it was just clothes to paint in or lounge around in. So she just wanted them left on that shelf. So I just folded everything as neatly as I could and put it up on that shelf. Start a life in the country. I can say yes to that. Whatever way you want me, I'll learn it all and I'll adapt. Even if I changed up everything except my name, we will still be fighting. Cause I am still the same. I wanna me to be somebody else, another me that doesn't need your help. But if I'm honest, I don't think we got it. I try to change the things you never like. Try to make this better, make this right. But we're the same, even though I changed. Really made an effort, promise I would change, but something stayed the same. I went ahead and changed the light bulb in this closet. It was just a yellow, a soft white maybe, whatever. But I wanted to put a daylight bulb in there just because it was just so dim. And then when you're filming, it just changes the whole lighting on your footage. So I just wanted to get that changed out. So then I wanted to empty the closet. I wanted to take all the clothes out of my side. On the other side of the closet, there's not anything on that wall, really. So I wasn't worried about Heather's clothes. I wasn't gonna get to that wall on this day. I just needed to get 
everything that was on that wall cleared off. The blinds that were up in this room were here when we bought the house. They had animals and cats too, so the blinds were broken just from where those cats will kind of pull those blinds out to get up in that window and see it. So I did buy new blinds to replace those, but I measured out this rod, the closet rod, to see if it would fit on the other wall because I thought it's just gonna be so much more room if you walk in and you can walk straight to that wall and get clothes instead of walking in and boom, there's clothes right in your face. The measurements was gonna work and I tried to get that off the wall and I could not, so I waited for Alden to get off work Thankfully, he came to our rescue and fixed that for us. You don't understand, you got me gone. But sometimes I might be a bit selfish when you wake too humble. Might be overzealous. I know this probably sounds gross to some of you, but I had an ingrown toenail and I had cut that out and my toe was so sore that the night before I couldn't even stand for like my covers to touch it. Like I had to stick my foot out and sleep. It hurt so bad. So when we moved Heather's bed around, I actually sat the bed down on that toe. So it was so sore and it had like split open and it was bleeding. And then Alden had boots on from work and he stepped on my toe again and it was bleeding again. So he felt bad. It wasn't his fault, but I'm telling you, my toe was so sore and it does feel a lot better now, but I know being a diabetic, you're not supposed to even cut your own toenails or anything like that, but that I can't stand for anybody to cut my toenails. Like that's my worst fear. I think is like one day being in the nursing home or something and somebody cutting my toenails. I don't know why, but I cannot stand that. So anyway, I just try to take care of those things myself, but I've only had an ingrown toenail like one time before, but it is so painful. And if you know, you know. I need more of a show right now. That you made your mind up Cause lately all it ever does is change Feels like we're only talking, talking Going round and around, back around I will fight like no other every day picked up this little shelf at Lowe's. I believe it was around $30. I think it was like $29 something. So I was a little confused because the picture on the package was turned one way, but the shelf was turned the other. And then once we open that up, the directions show that you can hang it either way. So I kind of wanted to hang it to where it was like a little basket on top, but then I could still hang some things down below. So I went through my clothes and got rid of a whole trash bag full. I had scrub pants. I had just clothes that I knew I wasn't going to wear. I've lost a lot of weight and I just wanted to get rid of a lot of things. So I was able to donate a huge trash bag, honestly, that was packed so full that it should have just been two trash bags. 
but I uh, got rid of so many things. So anyway, I still had a lot of things that were dirty that needed to be washed. So after laundry was done this weekend, I did have a lot more to put in there, but I still have so much room. So I feel so much better that that is sorted out and decluttered. For me, sometimes having so much stuff like that that you're not going to use, just seeing all those clothes hanging there that I've not touched in ages, I knew I wasn't going to use that. I knew that I wasn't going to wear them. So just to finally take time and go through those was so nice. It didn't take long. I bet it didn't even take me 10 minutes. But it's just little things like that that I dread so badly. And I don't know why I'm so bad about not going through things like that. It's just like the dread is worse than actually doing it. But it just felt like I was able to breathe again when I walked in here. It just felt so good to have all that clutter gone. Had actually gone to pick up supper for us while Alden and I were moving that shelf and hanging that new shelf and we decided to do the iron ore we just had a lot of that paint left she has just pops of black in her bathroom those shelves are black there's some black decor hand towel things like that and then her bedroom of course you guys just seen that that wall is black so she wanted to be able to look just straight through her bathroom and see that black wall in her closet so we decided to do this wall the iron ore and we only painted this wall we haven't got to the other walls yet not sure what color we're even going to paint those maybe just white just to keep it lightened up but this black wall does not make this room dark because of course we got a bright light in there now but we do have a window in the closet i think that's so odd too to have a window in the closet that's on the front of your house like that window there is the front porch and I just think that's kind of odd but you know whatever I, I don't know why I think that's odd it's just crazy to me that you you know anyway uh, off subject Amanda but anyway I just wanted to get this window trimmed out and painted so that I could go eat and then come back and start on the wall said it all uh -huh. you know we don't want to fall in love again oh no just think about what we did it never worked no tonight i can tell you you don't care you always know how to get me sentimental you always say the right things like Pushing me away then you pull me back in like I'm your lady but then you just stop trying you push away then when I go all in like you afraid of what might happen if you're trying mm -hmm. I'm already done with this game so I might just be honest with that I'm pushing you away then you pull me back in like I'm your lady but then you just stop trying I'm not gonna lie I was a little claustrophobic smothered there was just not a lot of space in this closet and Allison asked if she could help paint I think she kind of liked the comments because she did read those on the last video so she was really proud of herself so I think she just wanted to jump in there and do it again but she was a big help and she is getting really good at it you'll see that there is are some paint drips a few splatters that i clean up out of the carpet at the very end but i was glad that she wanted to help i'm not ever going to tell her no that she can't and i have noticed that she's grown up so much when we first moved into this house she was in the fifth grade and they got out of school like half a day on their christmas break and we moved that day we moved all of her stuff out and we moved and i guess she kind of had to grow up fast that stink for any kid to go through that but she was at the age where 
I really thought it would bother her, but she actually did really, really well. She has three older sisters, so she has not been sheltered too, too much. She learned a lot of things that, you know, like Lexi was the oldest that she didn't know. Lexi had to find out on her own or from me or what it just life lessons. And Allison grew up with three older sisters, so she knew what everything was. She didn't have to ask me any questions when it was certain times for her. So she just kind of grew up fast. And, you know, they say don't let your storm get your kids wet. And unfortunately, that's impossible sometimes. And she did have to go through some crappy things. But, you know, that builds character, that You know, adversity is good in a way. You come out stronger, but it stinks when kids have to deal with adult issues. But she did really well, and she's grown up so much. Just looking back at where she was when we moved in this house, maturity level, she has came so far. So she gravitates toward Heather and I. She kind of wants to hang out with us and talk about adult things, and she's just grown up so much. But I do appreciate that she wants to jump in and help me. I'm so sick of the way you let me down So All my time Oh, don't try I don't like all the things you do Mess with my head Just but pick me up, let me down Like you don't care, this is for Heather and I was watching YouTube. Well, I guess we were just listening to YouTube, but we were watching a video, What I Got My Kids for Christmas, and Heather asked me if I was going to do a video like that for YouTube, and I'm not. I told her that, for one, I've already got a lot of things wrapped, and they are fun to watch, and it is neat to see what other people get their kids, but at the same time, it causes a lot of comparison. It'll make you look at yourself like you're less than or that they're not enough, and neither one of those are pleasing to God, I don't think, in my opinion, but to be bluntly honest, I think we've turned Christmas into a huge money racket, and we buy stuff that our kids don't need. I would sit and think, what can I get? I need to spend this much more money on this one or that one, and When you sit and think, oh my gosh, what can I buy for this amount? They don't need that. They honestly don't. We are doing Christmas a lot smaller this year than we ever have. For one, Reagan just got an apartment and I did help her get settled and that cost a lot of money. And then you all know Lexi is having a baby and we have spent a crap ton of money on that kid and Lexi and Hunter. And then Kennedy just went off to college. So we've helped her here and there. And, you know, we spent a lot of money getting her dorm set up and things like that. And then Allison is playing club volleyball. So that takes like a kidney. I'm just not doing Christmas huge. Of course, we'll have gifts, but Christmas is not about giving each other gifts. Christmas is about the birth of Christ, celebrating Him, being with family, eating, and a few gifts. That's it. That's all we're doing. So, you know, I'm not going to do what I got my kids for Christmas. I'll probably film Christmas just like I did last year and Thanksgiving just from a distance, but I'm not going to get up close and personal with gifts at all. And I will say, do what you can. You know, if you can't do anything, spend it with your family. Be with your family. It's not about giving gifts to each other. Like I said, we've turned it into a big, huge money racket, and there's a lot of comparison. I know when my kids were growing up, I would tell them, you asked Santa for one thing, and the other things that they got were from us because I didn't want them going to school and saying, Santa got me this and this and this and this and other kids being like, I didn't get anything. So when they would go around the class and say, what'd Santa bring you? What'd you get from Santa? Her list didn't go on and on. It was just something small. And we've always did Christmas pretty big. But like I said, Santa didn't get all the credit for it. Santa, when he came to our house, he left one gift. And I know it's different for different people. I know a lot of people. It's 
all from saying, and that's fine. You know, do do you and do what you feel is right. That's all you can do. Just not going to do the whole, what I got my kids for Christmas. My kids are very nosy. They would be peeking. They'd be watching that video, screenshot and zooming in. I know how my kids are. So no, we're not going to be doing all that this year. I think I hear the call. So baby, let it snow. Take the heart. That's when the snow starts falling. I pick all the peasants up for you. Decorate the fireplace for two. I keep waiting all night, all night. Wish upon a starlight, starlight. I sleep under the mistletoe. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night I know you may suffer like But together we're alright You know We're ready for Christmas Can we do hot that cold? When the sleigh blows cold I hit the road Baby, let it snow In a perfect world, these old brackets would have fit my new blinds, but of course they didn't because that's not the world I live in. So took those old brackets down, touched the paint up, and then screwed the new brackets up for these blinds. And they were just cheap, just the cheapest ones I could find from Lowe's. So got those hung up. They look so much better. Like I said, this is just a closet window. Doesn't have to be anything bigger fancy. I'm just not one that's into spending $100 on window coverings when I can grab me a $10 set of blinds. So yeah, that's what I did. But I had a bag of trash and then I had a bag of clothes. So the clothes were took to donation. Of course, trash went to trash. But Heather does most of the laundry around here. So when she goes to put clothes up, a lot of times she'll just bring like Allison's clothes in here or Reagan's clothes she'll fold up and she'll throw in here in a basket or something. So we just have everybody's clothes mixed in. You know, normally it's Heather and Allison and I getting ready in here and we all can pretty much wear the same size things, so we share a lot of clothes. So yeah, it's just almost like a community closet. But hey, what works works, right? going to read my devotional today. My mom actually texted me and she was like, did you hear the new Reba song, Seven Minutes in Heaven? And I said no. And she was like, you've got to listen to it right now. Like, go listen to it. So if I wouldn't get copyrighted, I would play that for you. But I know that there are so many of you that are hurting or grieving this holiday season. I don't know what it feels like to lose a child, but I've seen my grandparents struggle and struggle and hurt 
deeply and be broken, absolutely broken, their lives shattered, turned upside down. So I know that some of you are going through that as well. This time of year, it's Happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And there's so many that it's hard to find the happy and it's hard to find the merry. You're more in survival mood. You're just trying to survive the holidays and get through it. And I've seen that and I've I am a crier. I'm a crybaby. When I see others hurt, I hurt. I've hurt so deeply for my grandparents because I can't imagine letting go of one of my kids no matter what age. Just the thoughts of that hurts my heart so bad. It makes me feel like I've just been kicked in the gut. But if you've not heard that song by Reba McIntyre, Seven Minutes in Heaven, go listen to it. Um, There are a couple parts in it that I'm not crazy about, but For the most part, it's the sweetest song. It says, I wouldn't ask Cash why he wore all black or ask Elvis to sing me a song. I wouldn't ask why Kennedy died because I know I wouldn't have long. I wouldn't small talk with Peter about the pearly gates. I'd ask him to let me in. I'd tell him there's somebody waiting on the other side that I really need to catch up with. If I had seven minutes in heaven, I'd spend them all with you. Can you imagine having seven minutes in heaven. If you just could have seven minutes and I know in a blink of an eye, they'd be over. And my mom said she would find Jake. She said, I would go straight to Jake. I'd miss him so bad. I would have to find Jake first. And you know, when we go through grief and we, when we lose somebody that we love, the only hope we have is the promise of heaven. If I knew one day that I had to let go of my kids and never see them again, it would all be a loss. So I'm so thankful that there's a promise of heaven. I made my grandparents something extremely special. And I'll insert a picture here, but in my next video that I'm editing right now, I'm going to show you guys me giving it to them. And that is going to be a special video. I wanted to make them a family tree, but I wanted to make it of Tom's past, like of of their youth and you know when I think about Christmas the most special times to me are when I was small and younger and when I spent on with certain people I can remember Jake every Christmas he was so much fun he was the life of the party he was so much fun to be around there was never a dull moment and Christmas is very quiet without him now and that's what I think of when I think of Christmas memories so when I made this for my grandparents I wanted it to be something for them to reflect back on the people that they grew up with and they spent Christmas with. I remember spending Christmas with my brother and us being young and waking each other up and going and opening gifts Christmas morning and I wanted to give them something like that. So I made them a family tree of them and their kids on it but it then it goes backwards. It goes to their brothers and sisters and their parents and in memory of and all this stuff. So I'll insert a picture here of that. And I think that's very special. But let me know in the comments someone you're missing this Christmas. If you don't care, just leave their name. I'll throw them up on the screen in my next video in memory of. So if there's anyone you're missing, someone that was so special to you or several people that were special to you, leave them in the comments and we'll be thinking about them and just keep their memory alive. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And I hope you enjoy the next video. It's going to be super special. So be looking for that. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. and fading I know there's something more than this I think I am ready for doing some changing oh God Flash, come here come in you got this treat can you sit for a treat can you sit will you sit Good boy. Sit in. Good boy. He should. Can shake? Oh. Good boy. Good That's a good boy. boy. Yeah, I like it, those trees. Look what Melissa got you guys. Look, Daisy. Daisy, look. look.
Here, keep them on this side of the gate. Plus, you can't have those toys. Oh, come on in. He's already ate one. Uh-uh. Me, you stay on this side of the fence. You got toys. Right here. Daisy. Yeah. No. No. Flash. Uh-uh. No, buddy. No, He's sir. strong. No, sir. No. Come on. We'll get us a toy. Me and you'll get a toy. Come on. Come here. We'll get us a toy. You can have all the world. I want to be a shining light. Live a life that shows through the darkness. The fire burning in the night. Be a hope for the world so broken. Be a friend to the lonely, the joy that he showed me. Make the broken things new, yeah